Welcome to another one of our Bluebeam Me Up How To tutorials, brought to you by Brighter Graphics Limited, where we show you how to maximize the potential of your investment in Bluebeam Review. Brighter Graphics are the oldest established Bluebeam partner and your premium Bluebeam solutions provider. Let's get started. In this video, we are going to show you how to create layers in Bluebeam Review. Like many CAD programs, the PDF file format can support exported layers as a way of organizing content in a document. With Review, you can move markups into layers, which is ideal for separating markups of different functions or disciplines. In the context of takeoffs and estimations, layers allow you to assign markups of similar material types so that they can be referred to individually if necessary. Or add a content layer like a plan for another floor for comparison. When you do this, you can toggle layers on and off, in order to see markups of the specific type independently, and can use the layer assignment as an additional level of organization for those markups, when filtering or creating summaries. On this document there are takeoffs for flooring, finishing, and glazing. From the markups list, you can hide and filter markups. But, if you want to highlight a specific type of markup quickly, we are going to want to use layers. Open the Layers panel. If you don't see the Layers icon, right-click on Panel Access and select Layers. Though, it should be available in the Quantity Takeoffs profile. At the top you can see the functions available for layers. You can create a new layer, add a layer from a page, or use and save a layer configuration, if you'll be using similar layouts for multiple projects. There are four columns of information in the Layers panel as well. The layer name can be edited by double-clicking on the name, and the visibility toggle works in the same way as the markups list. Locking the layer, prevents the layer's visibility from changing as well as stops the layer's name from being adjusted outside of the properties dialog. The print and export checkboxes determine whether or not that layer will be included when you export or print that document. So be sure to check that before you print. First things first, you'll want to add a new layer. Click on, Add New Layer. Note that you can add a layer, before, or, after a selected layer if it exists. But for our example there aren't any so we will go with, Add Before. Enter a name for the layer, in this case flooring. Then click OK. This creates an empty layer. With the layer created, you can right-click on a markup and assign it to layer. But, it is best practice to use the markups list when there are several markups on your document. Open the Markups list and make sure that the Layers column is visible by clicking on the Markups list menu. Clicking on Columns. Select Layers, and make sure it is checked. Since our markups have their disciplines as their subject, we will sort them by subject so that they are all together. We will then select all the markups whose subject are flooring, by holding down the Shift key, and selecting those markups. Right-click the selected group. Select, Layer, then select Flooring, to place them in that layer respectively. You will notice that the Layer column in the Markups list now has the name of the layer it is on and the Visibility toggle available. If you click on just one of the Visibility toggles, it turns on or off the entire layer. Thank you for watching. We hope you found the video useful. You can visit our website, www.brightergraphics.com, for more videos in the how-to series and all things Bluebeam Review. We at Brighter Graphics, welcome your feedback to help us to improve.